Oh, oh. What the What the hell is going on? so close. Throw him away quickly. Whee! Put him on his face. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? Yes. It's safe. You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah, uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. Knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Okay. Get some information about the attack details. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. The beacon? Do you know anything about the Protean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. And that ship? Did you get a close look at it? What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. <sighs> too busy running. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. What noise? It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. Like a jamming signal? It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. All right then. Well, I've saved the day for you. Go where you need to go. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you've got to learn when to shut up. What's going on? You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. Yeah. What kind of packages? What kind of packages? I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. <laughs> use of packages. I don't think a low pistol cuts it. Don't hold out on me! I'm only gonna ask this once. Think long and hard before you lie to me again. Are you sure all you've got is one lousy pistol? Uh... No, no wait, I just remembered. <laughs> I, I just had it in my pocket. Might as well take that too. That's everything, really. Who's your contact at the Thank spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. <sighs> Come on, it's not working out, buddy. You're making me mad. Would you rather be a snitch or a corpse? Powell. His name's Powell. No honor among thieves. That's all I know, really. So let's try to keep things friendly from here on in, okay? Okay. <laughs> I wasn't really going to kill you. Just using my power and weapon to make you crappy patties, right? Bye. I have to go. 
Good luck. Good luck. Ooh, uh, so I got a pistol and an upgrade to my armor if I so desire it. Wait a minute, can I, I can I assume I can upgrade my companion's weaponry as well and stuff, right? Okay, there you go. So for instance, Ashley. She's using the assault rifle, I think. We could upgrade her, her armor. But she's already got pretty decent armor. We could actually give her an upgrade for her armor. But there's no upgrades there. And there's no upgrades for her pistol, for her rifle either. And then we move to Kaiden. Let's see, he's using... A, does he use an assault rifle? I don't know. Or a pistol, maybe. There you go, it's, got, it's probably slightly better, maybe. Slightly less tech biotic protection. But at the moment, we're facing a lot of damage type stuff, not a lot of tech or biotic powers. So we'll give you that out for now. Right, that'll do us. Let's get the hell out of here. Come on, guys! Let's keep on moving. Is there any goodies to be had down here? No, there's not. We thought this world was safe. Commander, it's Nihilus. Nihilus? That Spectre chap? Can I get this weapon right here? Level 3 hazard. Fire. Get out before you die. <laughs> ah, so it is. You see, this is what happens, folks, when you run off on your own. I have no sympathy for the man. Personally, he should have come with us. I move faster on my own. I move faster to my demise, yes. Something's moving oh. over behind those crates. Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! Just be careful! Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I, I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. Sorry? Explain to me what's going on. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friends seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. God, the beacon? We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was in trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Ah, uh, okay. And the Gaff didn't find you then, eh? Lucky break for you. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? <laughs> you make me sick! You ditch work. Then you cower back here and do nothing while the Geth butcher everyone else. I don't even have a gun. What was I supposed to do? Run out there and die? I couldn't save them. Nobody could. It, it was horrible. Okay. Wait a second. You're the guy that the chap mentioned back there. It's the smuggler. You're Cole's contact here on the docks. For the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? 
My supervisor's dead. The entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Uh, it does if you've got any weapons to help me out, of course it matters. Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch. <laughs> We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Okay, calm down, Williams, calm down. Forget about him. He's not worth it. You're lucky the commander's here, pal. Hand over those grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. Oh, it's got more. Damn it, I can't ask him about them. Fine. I think I don't need to know anything else about these businesses. I've got enough information to proceed. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Let's go. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Yeah, you go away and go to sleep somewhere else, eh? You damn slacker. I have no time for layabouts. Come on. Oh, no! Oh! This is not good. What the hell did these guys come from? Where is the train? Whee! Uh oh. Getting shot at here. Oops, a daisy. I feel like I get to cover. There we go. Nicely done. Oops, a daisy. What the hell is this big thing? Take cover, guys. Oh, somebody's used a power on him. Good work. Padres, are they all the way back there? Oh god, it's like a Mexican standoff here. Come on, get yourselves closer, man. Come on, move in. I'll cover you. Suppressing fire. In a second, mark my bearings. There we go. Suppressing fire. Oh, Ashley, right, right into my path, you crazy woman. There we go. Kill. There we go. Sit the guess. I do like the music of this game, it's very nice. Alright, off we tootle. Ah, Saren. Set the charges, destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Ah, so he's after the beacon himself, eh? Whoa! 